C-93 or 94 or Delta on tap. Uh, this is my first day on the fire. Uh, it's been going for about three days now, but I spent the first two to three days uh, just dealing with the threat to my own home and my own community. But it's tough being in a small neighborhood like I live in and, and a lot of the homeowners, close to half, lost their home and about half made it through. Um, we all sustained a severe amount of property damage, but uh, fortunately a lot of our structures were left. Uh, and then to come out here, I mean this is the calling, this is, you know, once things were kind of secured and I got my wife set up at home with the generator and we got water restored uh, this is what we do it's hard to just see it you know to, to stand by in your own community and not knowing you have the skill sets to uh, mitigate it for other neighborhoods that are still threatened and not do anything about it I mean there's that calling that we do I mean you don't you don't do it for money it's just what you do you know regardless of that and it's not necessarily your job, it's just your calling to get out here and, and help what's left and try and defend other properties and, you know, organize the thousands of resources that we have here. And what we've been doing here tonight is kind of um, what we call buttoning up or finishing up uh, a piece of line that is a pretty good threat to the community of Yankee Hill and uh, the, the lower Jarbo Gap area and fire out this unburned fuel between the edge of the fire at the bottom of a canyon uh, that could come cranking out and really bump our line and possibly jump it and continue burning on over to Highway 70 and other neighborhoods. So uh, we're trying to get that secured with a, a backfiring operation that we can light on the edge of the dozer line that we put in so it slowly backs down to the main fire before the main fire gets established at the bottom of the hill and runs up at us. I wasn't going.